hydraulic conductivity, symbolically represented as, is a property of vascular plants, soils and rocks, that describes the ease with which a fluid can move through pore spaces or fractures. It depends on the intrinsic permeability of the material and on the degree of saturation, and on the density and viscosity of the fluid. Saturated hydraulic conductivity, XAT, describes water movement through saturated media. Typical ranges of hydraulic conductivity for different soils can be found on geotchdata.info database. Methods of determination There are two broad categories of determining hydraulic conductivity, empirical approach by which the hydraulic conductivity is correlated to soil properties like pore size and particle size distributions, and soil texture, experimental approach by which the hydraulic conductivity is determined from hydraulic experiments using Darcy's law, the experimental approach is broadly classified into, laboratory tests using soil samples subjected to hydraulic experiments, field tests that are differentiated into, small-scale field tests, using observations of the water level in cavities in the soil, large-scale field tests, like pump tests in wells or by observing the functioning of existing horizontal drainage systems. The small-scale field tests are further subdivided into infiltration tests in cavities above the water table, slug tests in cavities below the water table, estimation by empirical approach, estimation from grain size. Alan Hazen derived an empirical formula for approximating hydraulic conductivity from grain size analyses where, Hazen's empirical coefficient, which takes a value between 0.4 and 10.0, with an average value of 1.0. A. F. Salarashiri and M. C. Ozimard give C is usually taken between 1.0 and 1.5, with D in a man K in centimeter per second. Is the diameter of the 10 percentile grain size of the material, ped the transfer function, a pedotransfer function is a specialized empirical estimation method, used primarily in the soil sciences, however has increasing use in hydrogeology. There are many different PTF methods, however, they all attempt to determine soil properties, such as hydraulic conductivity, given several measured soil properties, such as soil particle size, and bulk density. Determination by experimental approach there are relatively simple and inexpensive laboratory tests that may be run to determine the hydraulic conductivity of a soil, constant head method and falling head method. Laboratory methods, constant head method, the constant head method is typically used on granular soil. This procedure allows water to move through the soil under a steady state head condition while the quantity of water flowing through the soil specimen is measured over a period of time. By knowing the quantity of water measured, length of specimen, cross-sectional area of the specimen, time required for the quantity of water to be discharged, and head, the hydraulic conductivity can be calculated. Where is the flow velocity? Using Darcy's law. And expressing the hydraulic gradient as. Where is the difference of hydraulic head over distance, yields? Solving for Gibbs. Falling head method. The falling head method is totally different from the constant head methods in its initial setup. However, the advantage to the falling head method is that it can be used for both fine-grained and coarse-grained soils. The soil sample is first saturated under a specific head condition. The water is then allowed to flow through the soil without maintaining a constant pressure head. In situ methods, order hole method. There are also in situ methods for measuring the hydraulic conductivity in the field. When the water table is shallow, the order hole method, a slug test, can be used for determining the hydraulic conductivity below the water table. The method was developed by Hookout in the Netherlands and introduced in the US by Van Bavelen Kirkham. The method uses the following steps, an order hole is perforated into the soil to below the water table. Water is bailed out from the order hole, the rate of rise of the water level in the hole is recorded, the K value is calculated from the data as, K equals F slash T, where, K equals horizontal saturated hydraulic conductivity, H equals depth of the water level in the hole relative to the water table in the soil, H T equals H at time T, HO equals H at time T equals zero, T equals time since the first measurement of H is HO. 
and f is a factor depending on the geometry of the hole, f equals 4000 d, where, equals radius of the cylindrical hole, is the average depth of the water level in the hole relative to the water table in the soil, found as equals, ho plus ht, slash 2. And d is the depth of the bottom of the hole relative to the water table in the soil. The picture shows a large variation of K values measured with the order hole method in an area of 100 Ha. The ratio between the highest and lowest values is 25. The cumulative frequency distribution is log normal and was made with the Comfrey program. Related magnitudes, transmissivity. The transmissivity is a measure of how much water can be transmitted horizontally, such as to a pumping well. Transmissivity should not be confused with the similar word transmittance used in optics, meaning the fraction of incident light that passes through a sample. An aquifer may consist of soil layers. The transmissivity for horizontal flow of the soil layer with a saturated thickness and horizontal hydraulic conductivity is. Transmissivity is directly proportional to horizontal hydraulic conductivity and thickness. Expressing in M day and in M. The transmissivity is found in units M2 slash day. The total transmissivity of the aquifer is, where signifies the summation over all layers. The apparent horizontal hydraulic conductivity of the aquifer is, where, the total thickness of the aquifer, is, with. The transmissivity of an aquifer can be determined from pumping tests. Influence of the water table, when a soil layer is above the water table. It is not saturated and does not contribute to the transmissivity. When the soil layer is entirely below the water table, its saturated thickness corresponds to the thickness of the soil layer itself. When the water table is inside a soil layer, the saturated thickness corresponds to the distance of the water table to the bottom of the layer. As the water table may behave dynamically, this thickness may change from place to place or from time to time so that the transmissivity may vary accordingly. In a semi-confined aquifer, the water table is found within a soil layer with a negligibly small transmissivity, so that changes of the total transmissivity resulting from changes in the level of the water table are negligibly small. When pumping water from an unconfined aquifer, where the water table is inside a soil layer with a significant transmissivity, the water table may be drawn down whereby the transmissivity reduces and the flow of water to the well diminishes. Resistance The resistance to vertical flow of the soil layer with a saturated thickness and vertical hydraulic conductivity kvi is, re equals slash kvi, expressing kvi in m day and in m, the resistance is expressed in days. The total resistance of the aquifer is, rt equals i pound re equals i pound slash kvi, where I pound signifies the summation over all layers, equals 1, 2, 3. The apparent vertical hydraulic conductivity of the aquifer is, kVA equals dt slash rt, where dt is the total thickness of the aquifer, dt equals I pound, with equals 1, 2, 3. The resistance plays a role in aquifers where a sequence of layers occurs with varying horizontal permeability so that horizontal flow is found mainly in the layers with high horizontal permeability while the layers with low horizontal permeability transmit the water mainly in a vertical sense. Anisotropy, when the horizontal and vertical hydraulic conductivity of the soil layer differ considerably, the layer is said to be anisotropic with respect to hydraulic conductivity. When the apparent horizontal and vertical hydraulic conductivity differ considerably, the aquifer is said to be anisotropic with respect to hydraulic conductivity. An aquifer is called semi-confined when a saturated layer with a relatively small horizontal hydraulic conductivity overlays a layer with a relatively high horizontal hydraulic conductivity so that the flow of groundwater in the first layer is mainly vertical and in the second layer mainly horizontal. The resistance of a semi-confining top layer of an aquifer can be determined from pumping tests. When calculating flow to drains or to a well field in an aquifer with the aim to control the water table, the anisotropy is to be taken into account, otherwise the result may be erroneous. Relative properties, because of their high porosity and permeability, sand and gravel aquifers have higher hydraulic conductivity than clay or unfractured granite aquifers. Sand or gravel aquifers would thus be easier to extract water from because of their high transmissivity, 
compared to clay or unfractured bedrock aquifers. Hydraulic conductivity has units with dimensions of length per time FTA squared. Transmissivity then has units with dimensions of length squared per time. The following table gives some typical ranges for K values. Hydraulic conductivity is one of the most complex and important of the properties of aquifers in hydrogeology as the values found in nature, range over many orders of magnitude, vary a large amount through space, are directional, are scale dependent, must be determined indirectly through field pumping tests, laboratory column flow tests or inverse computer simulation and, are very dependent on the water content, which makes solving the unsaturated flow equation difficult. In fact, the variably saturated K for a single material varies over a wider range than the saturated K values for all types of materials. Ranges of values for natural materials, table of saturated hydraulic conductivity values found in nature, values are for typical fresh groundwater conditions a euro using standard values of viscosity and specific gravity for water at 20 degrees Celsius and 1 atmospheres. See the similar table derived from the same source for intrinsic permeability values. Source, modified from Baer, 1972, saturated hydraulic conductivity by soil texture, see also, aquifer test, PED the transfer function a euro for estimating hydraulic conductivity's given soil properties, references, WAP paragraph Sten, JHM, Pakupski, YA, and Rawls, WJ PED transfer functions. Bridging the gap between available basic soil data and missing soil hydraulic characteristics. Journal of Hydrology 251, 123 Euro 150. Bib code, 2001 J 251 123 W DOI, 10.1016 per second 0022-1694, 01, 4 a New, Cheng Soils and Foundations. Upper Saddle River, New Jersey, Prentice Hall, 2001 ISBN 0 13 0255117 3 SB Hughout, 1934, in Dutch. Biedrich tot de Kennis van en Ignatelle Kundige Grew of Eden van de Grond. Verschlagen Landbauken de Gondetzuk No. 40b, pages 215 345. CHM van Bavelen de Kirkham, 1948. Field measurement of soil permeability using auger holes. Soil. Psi. Sock. Amproc 1390-96. ABC determination of the saturated hydraulic conductivity. Chapter 12 in, HP Ritzemer Drainage Principles and Applications, ILRI Publication 16, pages 435-476. International Institute for Land Reclamation and Improvement, Wageningen, the Netherlands. ISBN 90-70754-33-9. Free download from, 1, under NR. 6, or directly as PDFA, 2, Drainage Research in Farmers' Fields, Analysis of Data. Contribution to the project a Euro OE Liquid Gold a Euro of the International Institute for Land Reclamation and Improvement, Wageningen, the Netherlands. Free download former, 3, under NR. 2, or directly as PDFA, 4, ABJ Boonstra and RA Elkselic, SATEM 2002, Software for Aquiver Test Evaluation, 2001. Pub 57. International Institute for Land Reclamation and Improvement, Wageningen, the Netherlands. ISBN 90-70754-54-1 on Linry, 5. The energy balance of groundwater flow applied to subsurface drainage in anisotropic soils by pipes or ditches with entrance resistance. International Institute for Land Reclamation and Improvement, Wageningen, the Netherlands. On Linry. 6. Paper based on, R. J. Usterban, J. Boonstra and K. V. G. K. Rao, 1996, a Euro OE The Energy Balance of Groundwater Flow a Euro. Published in V. P. Singh and B. Kuma, Subsurface Water Hydrology, pages 153-160, V. 
Volume 2 of Proceedings of the International Conference on Hydrology and Water Resources, New Delhi, India, 1993. Kluwer Academic Publishers, Dordrecht, The Netherlands. ISBN 978-0-7923-3651-8. On Linry, 7. The corresponding free and drain program can be downloaded from 8. Subsurface Drainage Biles, 9 pp Explanation of Equations Used in the Well Drain Model. International Institute for Land Reclamation and Improvement, Wageningen, the Netherlands. Online, 9. The corresponding free well drain program can be downloaded from a 10. Bear, J Dynamics of Fluids in Porous Media. Dover Publications. ISBN A 0 486 65675 6A.